this is known as the glossa ordinaria, the ordinary gloss. A, a gloss in this context refers to, it's kind of like we might, this is the best I can think of as an analogy, uh, kind of like a study Bible, right? But it comes from the medieval period. So far, we've been looking at patristic sources. Here, I'm moving into the medieval period as sort of the capstone for this, because this as it were, study Bible, this gloss on Scripture. What it was was it it had the the Latin translation of the Bible along with certain notes in the margins or, or interspersed along with the text that were derived from church fathers like Jerome and, and other people all the way up to medieval theologians like Nicholas of Lyra. Okay, so the, the significance of this gloss is, number one, that it's deriving these interpretations and so forth, these explanations of scripture from earlier Christians, but also because this was what was being read by innumerable people throughout Christendom during the Middle Ages. Okay, this was a standard source of knowledge of the scriptures. It was the uh, scriptures translated into Latin along with these interpretations. This is the sort of thing that uh, stalwarts that people would look to, at least in the medieval period, even people that we would now like, uh, you know, still today, like uh, John Wycliffe, right? Remember, he's coming out of the Catholic Church and so forth. He's reading things like this. So this is the Glossa Ordinaria. And, and by the way, so the, the Glossa Ordinaria, it's it's very interesting. When you look at, when you do canonical studies and you read about the development of the canon, Rome and the East pretend that today, they pretend that yeah. uh, the Apocrypha has been accepted and so forth, but it wasn't. Even at the Council of Trent, there were quite a number of people at Trent who didn't agree with accepting the Apocrypha as scripture. And part of the reason for that, though, would have been the Glossa Ordinaria. People were used to reading the Glossa Ordinaria, which if you look at the prefaces to various books that are found in the Gloss, it, it, you know, you would have books or Bibles that included the Apocrypha, but not because they were scripture, right. but because they were considered useful reading and it was convenient to package these things together between two covers. But, but they would have these prefatory notes that said, this is not part of the canon, right? Repeatedly, in reference to the Apocryphal books, the Glossa Ordinaria uh, was, would say, this is not part of the canon. But look, look at what the Glossa Ordinaria says. The canonical books have been brought about through the dictation of the Holy Spirit. It is not known, however, at which time or by which authors the non-canonical or apocryphal books were produced. But the canonical books are of such authority that whatever is contained therein is held to be true firmly and indisputably, and likewise that which is clearly demonstrated from them. For just as in philosophy... A truth is known through reduction to self-evident first principles. So, too, in the writings handed down from holy teachers, the truth is known as far as those things that must be held by faith through reduction to the canonical scriptures that have been produced by divine revelation, which can contain nothing false. Right. Right. You see that uh, so he's, he's talking about as in philosophy, things are reduced to self-evident first principles. That is everything that's believed up here. It, it ultimately it rests on something down further. The, the, there are more basic things that it relies on until you eventually get to something beyond which you can't pass. That's what's known as a self-evident first principle. And he's right. saying it's the same thing that comes to holy truths. They're ultimately reduced to the canonical scriptures as the self-evident underlying first principle. Again, the Glossa Ordinaria, you don't get anything more representative of what Christians were believing in the medieval period from sources gathered from the patristic period than this.